hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nine having you in class again today how have you been we are going to look at something very interesting very very important it's more like a continuation of our previous video if you've not seen that video link to that video is on the description section of this video the title of that video is actually understanding coordinate um, reference system right good so understanding CRS so you can check out that video in that video we actually explain so many things on CRS and the projected and the geographic and the, how you can use them especially in GIS yeah in GIS emphasis on that now we told you something on that video that we are going to share another video with you which is this one and in this video we are going to give you a file that contains um, all the utm zones that is the 60 zones and how you can use them on your mobile device so as you can see this is actually google led for android so you can get it if you have um, your pc with you you can actually use that same file on your pc the the file is actually kml file so you can actually use that or you can use it on your android app and then you can also use it on your pc using the um, the google let them the desktop version right good so now that particular file will help you to know whatever utm zone you are on you know most times when you're working maybe with any data collector or maybe genesis receiver or maybe even when you are working with your gis and you want to know the projected coordinate system of a particular area maybe you are working in in nigeria and then you need to work for someone in maybe um let's say uh, you need to work for someone in malaysia or any other country that um, does not fall within the 31 32 and 33 utm zones you know you can actually get that any other way however this video we want to show to you will show you how you can easily conveniently and accurately get to know whatever zone you are working on either where you are or if you're helping someone with any other stuff right good so welcome to class if you've not subscribed encourage us by subscribing to the channel and if you're a returning viewer thanks for always um, checking up on us so now this is actually the globe on our screen you can see we have um, so much water and you know all of those stuff and you know this is actually the globe on our screen now there's a video on how to use um is it google Earth or mobile topo i think it's mobile topo good there are different videos on the channel where we have used them um, this um, google Earth. so we are going to leave them um, on the description section some videos that are related to google Earth, so that um, you can see some of those videos so if you want to know the location you are you can just click on this um, location icon with your location on the device already turned on right good with your location and device turned on so you click on it then it will just navigate you to wherever location you are so when you now use them when you now import that um, what do you call it the kml file which we are going to import very soon it will just show you the the zone which you are working on right good it will just show you or let's say it will indicate the zone you're working on and then from there you can continue with whatever you're doing right good so this is how that um, location icon works so let's say you're working for someone in dallas or maybe any of the states in the united states of america and then you know that know your location maybe somewhere else you just come to this um, search icon this search icon when you click on it or maybe when you tap it you just search for whatever location you are looking for so let's say we are looking at um, let's say dallas right let's see how that goes yeah it's a city in texas right so you just click on it when you click on it it will actually navigate you to that location so when it navigates you to that location then on that location you would see what the utm zone that you know it's covering that location also there are some states or there are some countries that fall or let's say have a more than one zones right good so all of those are the preliminaries and then the basics or the preambles now how do we get this file as we've told you earlier it's a kml file which means it is um, compatible with what um, google it so so you come to these um, options then you go to what you go to project when you click on project if it is not already there then you click on open select import kml file right 
then you navigate to the folder you would have saved it so we have it as what utm zones right dot kmz so we just push it and we see it being displayed on our what on our google Earth, um mobile application right good so as we told you on the other video on the previous video the globe is divided into 60 zones um, i think they are apart by um, six degrees or so so now these are the 60 zones you just go back you can see what the 60 zones now by the time you start zooming in you would see each of the the descriptions of the zones right good you see the descriptions of the zones now that will now tell you what whatever location you are what you are working on right good this actually we are navigating or let's say we are playing with what the the globe now let's go back to our search icon as we told you earlier so now we are still at dallas right now let's search for dallas let's see which zone dallas falls in good you can see that dallas falls in what utm zone 14 right good now let's allow it to load completely you can see all of dallas is actually in what in zone 14 of what the utm right that's the projected coordinate reference system is that not good now let's look at um some other location let's say um let's say nigeria let's say nigeria right good now let's search for nigeria you can see that the country nigeria has three zones there are three zones that passes through what nigeria good you can see the geographical location of nigeria and then you can see that we have 31 32 33 right good and now we can even you can even see that cameroon actually shares 33 with us and then you can see Benin republic also what shares and togo shares what 31 with us and we have what 31 32 30. so this is how you can know wherever the maybe your location you can know your location by clicking on this um, location icon then it will now navigate you to wherever your location is with this particular file being imported on your google Earth, uh, mobile application you can now know whatever zone you are operating on and this will be used for your data collector or maybe for your data processing or as the case maybe so now what zone are we in i'm actually in zone 32 of the utm right good so this is how you can use this particular or this particular file so when you want to access let's say if you actually want to access it definitely you need it check the description section of this video you'll see a link to downloading or let's say yeah you see a link to what to accessing this file and then you can follow the instruction and upload it on your what on your um google Earth uh, mobile application or even the desktop version of what your google Earth, right good so then with that you can now be able to easily know whatever projected coordinate reference system you're working on maybe yeah you are working on or you are helping someone with maybe processing or maybe whatever the case is so there are different applications you can have for it like there are different ways you can use it but this is actually one of the basic or yeah one of the important ways you can use what this particular utm zones i think the name of the file is utm zones it was shared in one of the classes and we had with um, one of the trainings i had with um, some indian guys from one university so they were the guys that um, shared the file with us during that training so i felt it's very good i use it also in this training to maybe show to you guys how you can use what that um, utm files to that utm zones rather to locate wherever you are and also enhance your productivity so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope we have been able to cover everything we thought we should cover on this video if you have any question you can leave it on the comment section or maybe you can send us um, any message in any of our contact details you can see on the channel and we'll get back to you as soon as we can so until we see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and um, have a nice time bye